This is Scott from KIG. This is our video number two. As we're meeting, coming close to our set point for this five ton chiller. We're down to about five and a half C right now. This is for our unit serial number 32044. And usually we'll go about one tenth of a degree below the set point value of five degrees centigrade in this case. Again, about approximately 42 half, give or take. And as soon as we hit that 4.9, our compressor and our fan will shut off, but the pump will keep going. And then I think, uh, yeah, then we'll go into time delay. You heard everything shut down. Time delay, that's gonna be about 90 seconds or so before it's gonna allow the compressor to come back on. But what takes precedence over that, of course, is our uh, set point or our, our process temperature needs to get up a little bit higher before it's going to allow the system to turn back on again. In this case, that's one degree centigrade or six degree, six point zero degree centigrade before this uh, system will, will shut. Uh, I'm sorry, turn turn back on. Uh, we do have all the like new uh, uh, airflow covers here. And uh, in this case, all three of these 2011 units have zero hours on them, um, and obviously the controls are, are brand, brand new. Uh, one last note here, uh, the controller is kind of slick in that it has uh, wrong phase detection. Um, everything is synchronized here at the shop, the pump, the fan, the compressor as far as rotation goes. But if you have the wrong phase to start with on initial power-up, uh, you will get an error code uh, ERR06, uh, which simply means you have to swap uh, two of any of the three power legs of the 460 volt power. Um, again, this is Scott from KIG. This one's ready to be skidded and crated up. Our website is KIGSales.com.